it was pretty insane. Um, it, I didn't actually expect that. I wasn't really told that that was a thing. Uh, so I walked off the plane and there were all these people uh, supporting and clapping all of us athletes. And uh, to kind of walk through there with my medal around my neck and all of them kind of staring at me and staring at the medal and like in awe almost, was, it was a really, really nice feeling. Yeah, to step up a plane when you've been in there for 12 hours, uh, had you know seven hours sleep on there, woke up feeling pretty rough, and then I looked out the window to see, blimey, there's 500 people outside, you know, all clapping and supporting us. It's, it's fantastic to have that support when we get back here, especially walking through the, the, the terminals and stuff like that, and walking through Heathrow. There were so many people saying congratulations, want to take photos of us. It's, it's just, it's, it really shows how much Team GB has been supported by Great Britain. Yeah, it was pretty buzzing. Um, I was actually really tired and I accidentally fell asleep for a little bit, but when I woke up, um, it was nuts. Like, there were so many athletes, like, kind of having a champagne, celebrating and stuff like that, and that was a really nice thing because when you're, like, uh, in the village or whatever, you're very much in a bubble, so it's nice now you kind of get removed from that bubble. You you uh, spend some time with people and stuff like that and have a drink together. It's really nice. It's definitely in London, it took quite a long time to sink in. Having a nice takeaway, having a Domino's. Girlfriend and takeaway, without a doubt. Number one. <laughs> stuff like that is really important to us so this period of time is pretty epic for us because we get to you know we get to pig out and uh, and drink and stuff like that which is something we're not very used to so uh, yeah looking forward to it yeah while we were competing we both made a pact that we wouldn't uh, have any McDonald's uh, until we were finished but obviously who can resist free McDonald's when I'm finished so uh, it was very many times when we would go in and order a hundred nuggets <laughs> A hundred nuggets, a couple of cokes, some McFlurries, chips, get it all in. I don't care. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I'm finished. <laughs> Exciting, yeah, we had um, we had one of the highest like uh, viewer numbers actually in, ever in, in this in this Olympics actually. We had I think 8.1 million people watching our diving event, me and Chris. Um, so you know, people I think the people of Britain love diving really. Whenever it's on, people uh, go mad about it. I think Dan and Tom had 7.7 .7 million viewers. Uh, you know, it's been crazy the, the amount of. Uh, you know, viewing figures that the, the diving's actually accumulated and um, yeah it's, it's, it's just such a brilliant spectator sport and I think that the fact that we have got up and coming talent you know we're getting medals now not just Tom Daly anymore it's it's me and Chris it's Dan Goodfellow you know we've got some up and coming girls as well I think that Team GB is looking in a brilliant place especially in diving and, and the people love it it's really surreal really I think to land on home soil and to fly back with the team overnight last night was an incredible feeling and yeah I think well we were all singing the national anthem before we set off and having a toast to everyone to, to celebrate the success really I think to be part of such an incredible team and to contribute two silver sort of medals towards that I couldn't be happier. Going into the games obviously yeah I think for me and my coach we sat down at the start of the year and we said we were going for two medals and obviously we kept that quite close to our chest because we knew that was our goals and we didn't really want to share it because we were on that journey together but yeah I think obviously you never know what can happen on the day you want to be at your best and sometimes it doesn't always work out so um, to put on my best performance on the day and to come away with two silver medals I couldn't be any happier. One, two. Probably my mum's home cooking first I mean I should probably be treating her to some food first taking her out for a meal after all the stress that I put her through when she's watching me race but yeah, I'm just looking forward to being with my family and spending some quality time together and um, putting my feet up, really. I'm quite tired. <laughs> I suppose those medals are quite heavy as well. I'll have to go back, and I'm, it's not really all sunk in yet, but once I'm home and can appreciate everything, hopefully I can go and visit some of the local hospitals and schools to show some of the kids my medals there, because uh, hopefully I can inspire them or put a smile on their face. That'll make me very happy.